Just a quick video showing you the update on my latest uh, progress report on the uh, International S1900. And what I've done is I've removed this whole bunch of wires. Uh, it was just a, a huge mess of wires. So there's one strand of wire here where when I actually stretched out is just as long as a truck and it was all inside the uh, inside the cab. <laughs> so these guys actually had some computer connectors hooked up to something. I don't know if they're actually using it on a computer to enter data I, I've got or it was a this looks like a monitor cable, I don't know, but um, splices everywhere, just wires coming from everywhere, Rot wires, you know, connected to nothing, wires just loose, one wire going to uh, four or five different items, you know, different components in the car, so they actually had like a, a positive wire going from the, from the radio, and then going wired to the heater as well, and wired to the... Uh, to the uh, hours gauge as well and it was just uh very very ugly they i mean they did a good job on the uh on the uh joints but it's just just a huge mess everywhere and uh there's actually one piece where there's actually like three or four splices on the same piece and it was only maybe four inches long just ridiculous so what happens is, you know, things, electrical components uh, break down. They're probably the weakest links in one of these trucks and uh, probably in any vehicle. Uh, uh, the market really lacks good, high-quality electrical components. They're all sort of plasticky garbage stuff, you know. Um, I'm hoping to change that, but uh, I'll show you something that I've already done in the next video. But um, So I ended up just, again, uh, as I was saying, what happens is, you know, it used to be a company truck. So when something happens, um, they don't usually care about, um, they don't usually focus on doing a good job. They just rather focus on doing a quick job as fast as you can uh, to keep the truck moving so you know they don't worry they don't bother where the wire comes from they just you know you got to connect an hour gauge or you got to connect something else you know you just pull a wire from whatever is more convenient you pull a wire from there from just another wire not actually from the terminal bar or the terminal block and you just you know just it, it's done it's quick it's convenient but uh, over time, that's what happens. You get a hell of a bunch of wires, and it turns into a nightmare. Um, I wouldn't say it's dangerous, but it could lead to a lot of pain in the ass, right? So, you know, one of these wires, you know, all it takes is a loose wire rubbing against the body of the car to short out and uh, drain the battery or melt the wire and drain the battery. And um, then, you know, you, you run out, you lose battery power, then you can't get the truck started. And then you got to spend hundreds of dollars getting a tow truck uh, to, to come over to you. And then you can't really boost, no point in boosting the battery because it's just going to drain out again and melt more wires or damage more components. So it really could become um, uh, not fun. So... Some people would probably try to get, you know, just try to fix the wires that are, or remove the wires that are bad, but it was just impossible. So I just removed everything. I just, all the wires, the cab, there's no, there are, there's no wires on the cab at this moment. And that's probably the uh, easiest and fastest uh, method. You know, then, and they all use the same color wires, which is, you know, it, it's cheap, but it's very. It makes things very confusing. So, um, 
you know, when I'm done, there will probably only be, I don't know, 10 wires as compared to, you know, what, hundreds of wires? I don't know. It's a hell of a lot of wires. So, I just, like I said, most of them weren't doing anything anyways, just hanging around or, uh, you know, extra, you know, too long anyways, so... So yeah, that's my advice to you. If you're just just do the whole thing, just tear it down and start again. That's what works for me. Instead of trying to follow these wires and um, yeah, you don't need a lot of wires in these trucks, anyways. So I don't know. I, I really can't understand why they had so many wires. Um, I don't know. But yeah, that's the latest latest uh, that I've been working on. So um, I've just spent a few days just removing all the damaged components, uh, all the garbage, rusted bolts, uh, replacing them. Um, so I've also removed I also removed these boxes here. Um, this one is possibly still repairable. It's pretty badly rusted out. Uh, as you can see, there's uh, shitloads of rust there. Um, yeah, this one here is just rusted beyond repair. Um, so I had to remove the bolts that were holding them, which were also rusted out. So it wasn't too hard, but it wasn't too easy either so I've removed this so at this point the truck is pretty much uh, mechanically sound I've checked up on all the uh, oils all the fluids flu uh, coolant engine oil differential uh, I've cleaned I've cleaned off you know those boxes that were around here I've just removed them because they're they're just hanging on there and just falling off so I can't use them and they're just in the way so out with the garbage this is what the cab looks like uh, remove the, the chairs and the uh, stupid carpet that they had here and again just uh, somebody's already done some low quality repair work so you can see the spot welded that in there this sheet uh, there's some big holes here which I'll have to repair uh, they, they've done a lot of body work uh, at least 50% of this floor uh, is not original but the, like they just did you know, low quality work as you can see it hasn't lasted and uh, I have to get that repaired the same thing on the other side just a lot of rust overall but you can see all the uh, wires on the cab are out I've left these Wires, these are for the lights, for the turn signal. Um, since this is plastic and it's very flimsy, I'll probably end up replacing it with uh, an external an external turn signal cam or turn signal switch. Um, some of these wires that have remained are from the heater, heater controls. Um, I'll probably re remove them as well and just convert it to mechanical. Um, such as in the Rambler, it's all mechanical. Uh, some of these wires here, two of them are what I believe for reverse switch. So as the truck is backing up, it's turning, uh, it's doing that sound right. Boop, 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 boop. So I've left those on there, two of them, and then two of them are from what I believe to be the tachometer. Um, so yeah, that's, so I've also removed a good part of the exhaust components and it's just, at this point my next step will be to remove these uh, rusted out pipes and uh, uh, yeah, I've also removed all of the dash um, components. Uh, I used to have this horrible, ugly plastic cover here. <laughs> no smoke. 
that's been removed and I broke that I hate plastic here's the uh, well yeah, here's the dash so um, I again I just removed most of these things because they're not working anyways so as you can see the RPM gauge is stuck uh, voltage gauge is destroyed oil pressure gauges destroyed temperature gauge obviously destroyed as well um, speedometer was sort of working it's working on this part but the cable uh, it's it's pro it's broken in one point so not doing anything the only fuel gauge again <laughs> not working the only things that were working were these two uh, air pressure gauges and again I'll probably just replace so this whole thing is pretty much garbage yeah there are some lights here for different uh, components but um, one of them is a brake warning light um, but again it's 90% of this is just uh, garbage um, you know, like so these two I'll definitely replace them with something like big and uh, nice and industrial instead of these flimsy little crappy things ugly crappy things there so again so I have just removed everything from there I also removed this huge and extremely heavy uh, compressor reservoir or air tank air cylinder um, and it was just hanging on from one by one bolt the others two had rusted off and broken off so uh, this was really something that could have potentially been dangerous and this here falls on the road on the highway <laughs> oh boy so yes just takes a while I've been uh, probably just been removing garbage you know plastic pieces uh, wires rusted out bolts um, you know, broken hoses, uh, useless things, um, broken components. I've probably just uh, been doing that for a few days. Um, and uh, we're pretty much finished. So uh, the only thing remaining, uh, I always say that the, uh, the first step of construction is actually deconstruction. It's a demolition. So you have to just destroy everything that's garbage you know remove all that and uh, and only after that then I can actually start uh, building so once I get the uh, this exhaust pipe removed I can actually start um, replacing things reconstructing things right so yeah that's the latest update uh, hope you enjoy it it's a, it's it's a great truck I'm really excited about this project uh, I've had uh, in the past, a uh, disaster of project, which was that 1969 Cadillac, which, uh, I mean, I still got money out of it, but it's it was just a waste of time. So, But this here is actually really nice. I'm really excited. Um, I, might, I might move the muffler to the bottom. I've seen a lot of people doing that. And... Uh, I don't know. Uh, I was hoping maybe moving it farther away from the cab will make things quieter, but uh, I don't know. Just just a thought. Uh, it will also allow me to remove all these curves. I really don't like all these curves. Um, you know, like I said, I'm obsessed with simplicity. So if I make it straight down, then it's really easy and simple. It's just a straight pipe instead of all having to buy all these uh, curves uh, which are expensive and I, I don't really I can't bend them they're too big to bend on the bender that I've got so yeah a bunch of stuff that has to be done but okay I've been talking uh, for a bit now so but hopefully hopefully this this helps anybody that's into restoring one of these trucks And that's the uh, S1900.